So question 21, we're asked to prove that 2n plus 3r squared minus 2n minus 3r squared is a multiple of 8 for all positive integer values of n. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand out this and tidy it up and then and see where that takes us. So let's just write it down. We've got 2n plus 3 all squared minus 2n minus 3 all squared. That equals this squared means 2n plus 3 times 2n plus 3. And I need to subtract 2n minus 3 times 2n minus 3. And when we're expanding double brackets, I take the first term and I multiply by the second bracket. 2n times 2n plus 3. And then we take the second term times by the second bracket. 2n plus 3 times 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 2n plus 3 and then I'll worry about this. And then I can introduce that negative sign a little bit later. But let me just make that big bracket like so. So now I'm going to do I'm going to do the first term by the second bracket. And then do the second term by the second bracket. and then close off that big bracket. So I'll worry about this in a moment, and then I can introduce the negative sign. So that equals, well, 2n times 2n is 4n squared. 2n times 3 is 6n. Then 3 times 2n is 6n and 3 times 3 is 9. So we're just distributing the 2n across the brackets and then the 3 across the bracket. Okay, so subtract. Again, keep up that big black bracket for now and do 2n times 2n. 2n times 2n is 4n squared. 2n times negative 3. 2n times negative 3 is negative 6n. Then we're doing negative 3 times 2n and negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 times 2n negative 6n. Negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. And then close off those brackets. Edging closer towards the solution, 4n squared, so we're just tidying up now, 4n squared plus 12n plus 9. And eventually we're going to have to subtract everything that's in here. And tidying up what's inside the black brackets, we get 4n squared minus 12n plus 9. Now's the point at which I will introduce that negative across this bracket. So leave everything before the same. 4n squared plus 12n plus 9. And I'm doing negative all of this, so that's going to be minus 4n squared, negative times
times negative is positive. Negative times positive is negative. And now let's collect our like terms together. 4n squared take away 4n squared is 0. They cancel out. 12n plus 12n is 24n. And 9 take away 9 is 0. So we get 24n. And what we can say is as 24 is a multiple of 8, all values, or all positive values, wasn't it? We're trying to prove that all positive integer values of n, all integer of n will multiple of 8. So if you take any number, for example, say 2, 2 times 24 is 48, and 48 is a multiple of 8. Say 3, we would get 72, and 72 is also a multiple of 8. So any number at all, so long as it's positive and whole, will be substituted in here we will get a number that is a multiple of 8, and we've proven it algebraically. So what we had to begin with, once we simplified it down, we ended up with 24n, and because 24n is a multiple of 8, that means any value of n will be a multiple of 8 also.